Hi there, welcome to my channel. My name is Sarah and I'm the Style Coach. Today's video is <laughs> a fun one. I've allowed AI to style me for five days. So let me give you a bit of background about what you're about to see. I asked for five outfits for 20 degrees in Ireland for five days. And at first it was very generic and I decided to input some more specific details so I went into my style personality, the dramatic style, and also my body shape to get really specific information, just to see, you know, how good this actually was gonna be. I think in theory, what it proposed for the five days wasn't bad, in theory. <laughs> but you're about to see my interpretation of the descriptions that AI gave me. And I'll talk you through whether I think this is going to be the way of the future or are we still missing the human element. So let's take a look. Before we get started, can I please ask you to like the video if you enjoyed it or learned something new and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if you'd like to give some super thanks today, I'd be super grateful. It really helps me run this channel. Day one description, flowy printed maxi dress with an empire waist to create balance. Uh, okay, <laughs> I think I can come up with something here, but I'm keeping in mind that I probably don't have a printed maxi dress, so I'm gonna have to interpret this. This is like shopping your wardrobe. There's great prompts there, but you gotta interpret it with what you've got in your wardrobe, so we gotta keep that in mind. Strappy sandals or embellished slides, okay. Wide brimmed floppy hat oversized sunglasses and a layer with a lightweight kimono or duster coat for added drama. <laughs> this, I feel, may not go so well. Let's give it a go and see how it turns out. So I think you'll agree that this was not the best outcome <laughs> for this uh, outfit. Um, it really didn't work. Um, the color choices were off. I mean, I, I just used what I had that was closest to the description. It also, I noticed, didn't give, um, well, it, it didn't really tell me to use a handbag or any other accessories apart from the hat and the sunglasses. We'll, we'll, we'll leave it there for that one, but I think this one was a flop. <laughs> So let's move on to the second outfit and take a look. Let me know what you think of each outfit as we go along. Okay, so on day two, I should wear high-waisted shorts with a bold pattern or color to emphasize the waist. Again, restricted by color, but we'll go with that. Off the shoulder blouse or a flowy peasant top to add volume to the lower body. Again, I'm thinking, what can I do to interpret this look in my wardrobe? I might have to kind of use a button down, but off the shoulders, so we'll give that a go. Platform espadrilles or es or embellished flat sandals, okay. Mm -hmm. And layer with a statement denim jacket or a leather moto jacket. Okay, so we can give this a go, see how it turns out. Um, let's go.
So I kind of had to think outside the box for this one. I don't think it was the worst uh, outcome. Not as bad as the as day one, I would, I would think. The things that I missed here were, you know, AI didn't tell me those little tweaks that make all the difference to an outfit, like the details of, you know, are you gonna tuck in with um, a half tuck or a side tuck or a full tuck with your blouse? I kind of interpreted it with, you know, buttoning one button, choosing off the shoulder with the, the blouse, and then, uh, you know, crossing over the bit in front. So there's still that human element and the human instinct for style that I don't think AI is picking up on. Plus, I think it's very in contrast to the outfit that we did on day one. So already I'm seeing like different personalities within this wardrobe, which I don't think, uh, you know, if we're trying to build a, towards a capsule wardrobe or something, so far this is not working out so well. It feels like they're, it's describing two different style personalities. Day three, A-line printed jumpsuit to add volume to the lower body. I can do that. Flat gladiator sandals or statement slides. Okay, I'll probably go with my usual Marc Jacobs uh, sandals. Statement earrings and a stack of bangles. <laughs> the statement earrings are interesting because if you've been watching my videos, I have literally worn these Chanel earrings for ever. Since I bought these earrings, I've worn them literally every day and I never wear anything else. So wearing different earrings is gonna be interesting. Uh, carry a woven tote bag for a bohemian touch. If I can find out where my, t my woven tote bag is, I'll try to find it. Let's take a look. not too dissimilar to what I would usually wear. Again, AI didn't give the details that I would put into the outfit. Like I added a white belt around the waistline to emphasize that. Um, and I, I changed up the bag and the earrings I'm not so keen on. Plus with a statement earring, it didn't tell me that, you know, my hair would look better with my, it, it tied back somehow and have the emphasis on the earring. So it's, it's leaving out a lot of details here that I think is a shame and again, doesn't complete the outfit fully. Day four, high-waisted wide leg trousers in a bold color to elongate the lower body. Again, I'm kind of thinking, okay, what do I have my wardrobe to, we might have to go with something alternative, maybe not the wide leg, but we'll see. A statement blouse with ruffles or dramatic sleeves to add volume. Okay, this could be very alternative. Pointed toe flats or embellished loafers. Gosh, I think I have a pair that I literally haven't worn because they're very uncomfortable, but I'll see if I still have them. Layered with a structured blazer or a faux fur stole for added glamour. <laughs> okay, uh, I don't know if this is gonna work for everyday wear, but this is gonna be interesting. Let's take a look.
So I think it was going okay up until the faux fur stole. What do you think? <laughs> it was a bit, it went a bit too far for everyday wear for me, I think. Um, I don't need that added glamour. I love a dramatic touch. That was just a, a bit too far. I wore those pair of pink trousers for the first time in a very long time. So it's good that it prompted me to wear things that I haven't been wearing. So I like that. So this is an outfit I definitely could wear. I think the, the loafers work, they're just very uncomfortable, but overall not bad. The faux fur still a little bit too far. And finally, day five, A-line midi skirt with a bold floral or animal print to create volume at the hips. Fitted crop top or a bodysuit to emphasize the waist. Strappy flat sandals or embellished slides, accessorize with a statement belt and oversized sunglasses. Pretty straightforward, let's take a look. like this. Um, it's definitely something I would wear normally. Um, again, it was missing the human input, I think, from AI. So I actually, when I wear this skirt, I actually wear another skirt underneath, a tulle skirt, to give it volume. Uh, and I think that works better for me. So that's something that AI just can't interpret. It can't look at something and then go, you know what, we need more volume here, we need to tweak this here. So we're still missing that. But overall, I think the look came together fairly well. So what did you think overall? Is AI going to be part of our everyday normal dressing routine where it gives us ideas and uh, we feel more confident in our style? I don't think so, not yet anyway. With all the information that I gave uh, AI in terms of, okay, 20 degrees or 25 degrees in Ireland, um, inverted triangle body shape, dramatic style. I think it did pretty good at gathering information from various sources and inputting it, but without giving too much detail, still very open to interpretation. So you've got to be in a place where you feel comfortable with that interpretation uh, and knowing how to make the tweaks in your outfit. So I don't think my, <laughs> my job's in danger. Um, I still think we need that human element because we always need to check in with how we feel when we put an outfit together, and that's the most important thing. That's the, the most telling sign whether something has worked or not. And AI simply can't do that yet, anyway. That's it for today's video. I do hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you again next week. Take care, bye-bye.